Hello, my karma babies. How are you today? Well, welcome, welcome. My name is Granny Karma, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, and if you receive benefit from this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I put out a new video. Well, guys, today I'm going to be making a wonderful, delicious, old-fashioned comfort meal, okay? Just an old-fashioned comfort meal, guys. Um, remember the other day I made some turkey necks for you, and I made my Salisbury steak, and uh, today I'm going to be making um, chicken and dumplings. Now, the chicken I'm going to be using is from that pick five that I tell you about. Take advantage of that. I'm using thighs. I love thighs when I'm making a soup with it. And I love thighs just fried. That's, I think, you know, one of my favorite pieces of the chicken, the thighs. Anyhow, this package that I'm going to be using uh, in here, I already have another one. Uh, I think it was about $3.70. Look at that. All of this in a package uh, ready for you to serve up for your family. And under $4, guys. Under $4. So, what I have here is I have a pot of water going. And we're just going to get right to it. Okay? I have a pot of water going. And then I have my pieces here of uh, chicken. Okay? Uh, some of the pieces, I'm looking around because I'm looking for my, here it is. Some of the pieces, um, I've uh, taken the skin off and some I have not. Now, the reason for that is because, you know, the skin has all the fat in it. I want to get some of the fat, but I don't want to get a lot of it. So, I'm going to show you the ingredients that you're going to be needing for this meal. So, stick around and come on back. And we're going to start this chicken and two ingredient biscuit dumplings. Okay, I have a nice big pot of water going here, guys. And I'm just going to put my beautiful pieces of chicken thighs in this pot of water. And uh, we're just going to let it cook. Um, I have it on like a medium high heat here um, now prior to um, cooking this of course or putting it in the pot I've washed everything and actually what I do is um, I uh, soak my chicken pieces whether I'm frying them or baking them or making them into a soup I always uh, put my uh, chicken in vinegar and salt. I always put it in there and just kind of let it, uh, you know, let it just kind of clean for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, you can leave it in there longer or you can leave it in there for a shorter period of time. Okay, so now I'm just going to add, let me just take this away one moment. Okay, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be using in um, the making of this delicious chicken and dumplings. We're going to be using celery. Yes, we are. Some onion, and I have lots of onions. You guys know I love, love, love onion and my foods. We're going to have some beautiful carrots. I'm also going to be adding uh, some cream of chicken. And if you didn't have cream of chicken, you can certainly use cream of mushroom. No problem. No problem at all. I'm going to put in a little dash of salt and a little dash of pepper. I'm also going to be using, and I love this seasoning, uh, it's called Sasson, Sasson Goya. And I love this. I season chicken with it, fish. All of my food, my family loves this particular season seasoning, so I use it in a lot of my meals, and I will be using it today. I'm also going to be using some parsley in there, okay? 
and I will be putting in some garlic powder. And your final ingredient that you want to add to your chicken and dumplings is a bag of frozen peas and carrots. Now, that's all going in for the chicken and dumplings, right? Also, I always put a little dash of lemon in there. And um, ch chicken loves li lemon. It loves lemon, fresh lemon, lemon juice. When I bake chicken in the oven, guess what I do? I put a whole lemon, I'll cut it and put it, you know, inside or underneath or somewhere near there. Chicken and lemon go together. So, I'm going to be putting a dash of lemon juice in there. And that's going to cut down on some of the oily base from the skin. Like some of them, I told you, I have no skin on. But then others, I have skin on. So that's going to create a, um, like a, a, a oil. Now, the, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start adding in my uh, vegetables here. And this is going to help make me a beautiful, I'm going to put most of them in here now. It's going to make a beautiful broth. The broth is going to be delicious. Let's put that in. So we have added our uh, celery in here. And let's put uh, some carrots. You know, and there's no measurements in this because it is dependent upon your flavor, your likes, and your dislikes, okay? So right now we have uh, celery in here, and we have our carrot. Now I'm going to put in a whole bunch of onions, guys. I don't know how many I chopped up, at least five or six. You know, I'm good at that. <laughs> I, I love, love, love onion, the flavor of onion. So now I put that in, okay? And I just kind of, you know, stir it a little bit. Now, don't be alarmed. You're going to see this little white pieces of broth come up there. And that's just some of the fat coming off of the chicken. And that's okay. You can just take a spoon and remove all of that. You can remove it now. Um, which I'm going to uh, start doing. You can move, remove it now, or you can remove it later. And um, that's just from the, uh, you know, the fats of the chicken. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this, and then I'm going to put my lid on. Oh, it smells wonderful already, guys. I'm telling you, it really does. I didn't bring a big spoon with me right now. But as you can see, oh, it smells wonderful. And as a matter of fact, right about now, I think I'm going to add a little seasoning in here just to get it going, guys. So we'll put in a little pepper, okay? We can always add, but you cannot take away. So that's my model, guys. Now, you know you're going to need salt for this because you've got your broth there and your chicken so put your salt in don't be afraid but don't overdo it okay so also right now I'm going to add a little parsley I'll just sprinkle that in sprinkle that in right now oh it smells so good already okay and I'm going to keep my seasonings on standby because I just might need to add a little bit more in as I go along. Okay, so I have my garlic powder here. Okay, let me wipe my spoon off because I did use it to stir with. But let's sprinkle a little garlic powder in here. Okay. Wonderful. And at this point, I think I will also add in one packet of the saffron. I love the color, the color of the saffron, and the color and the flavor that it uh, gives your food. So I didn't bring a big spoon in, guys. So 
I'm going to have to stir with this. But oh my goodness, if you only had smell -o vision if you only had smell -o vision guys, I know you would love it. Well, okay, so you see how it's looking now. And uh, it's cooking away. I'm going to cook it till it's just about done. Then I will remove the pieces of uh, chicken and I will shred it and put it back in and we'll make our two ingredient biscuit dough. Put it on here and we'll be ready to go. Just that simple guys. So join me back in a few minutes once this is cooking really good. And oh my goodness if I could eat it right now I would because it smells amazing, guys. So we'll put the lid back on. Okay. And we will let this continue to cook. And we'll come back when it's just about done. Okay, guys. Let's just take a look and see what's going on in this pot. Look at that, guys. Oh, yes. It is cooking beautifully. Okay, look at that. Amazing. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, I'm going to be the very person who invents uh, smell o vision I'm just going to have to. There's going to be a button, and you and you press it, and look how easy that's going in already. This is getting very close to being ready. It won't take long, you know, when you're boiling, cooking chicken. Um, see how nicely that's going in? We're going to let it cook. It's been cooking now for at least a half an hour or so. We're just going to let it cook some more. And then we're going to just, you know, we want to get all our celery and carrots and everything cooked down. And that's what, as you can tell, that's what's helping make this beautiful broth. Look at this beautiful broth. You don't have to add uh, a broth to it. Actually, you don't have to add the cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. A lot of people um, just use this delicious broth. I like a little bit thicker broth, so that is why I add the cream of uh, chicken or cream of mushroom. Uh, whichever one I get my hands on faster. <laughs> Now, as you can see, do you see um, how beautiful, look at that, buttery, it looks buttery, you know, I mean, it's just going to be just delicious, I can't wait. So, right about now, I think I'll put a little dash of, I want you to see how it looks now, I want to put a little dash of um, lemon juice in there, just a dash, a couple of dashes. <laughs> like that okay just sprinkle a little bit of it in there like i told you guys chicken loves lemon okay and it's going to cut back on some of the oily oily in here from the skin of the chicken and just look how beautiful that looks that is going to be some kind of yummy eating so i'm just going to uh turn it down a little bit i don't want it to boil too fast I'm just going to turn it down. I want all my onion and everything to cook away as much as possible because I'm going to add the others. Oh, guys, and I'm going to add, like, at the very last minute when I put in my uh, dumplings, I'm going to add some uh, a bag of frozen carrots and peas. I love peas in my uh, chicken and dumplings. Okay, guys, so... Now we are going to separate our chicken. Mmm. That is so delicious. So, show you a really quick way to do this. Just take your chicken. Oh, that looks lovely. Take your chicken pieces out here. And put it in a bowl or whatever you want to put it in, okay? And the only thing you have to do is take 
and separate your meat just like that to get it off the bone look at that coming right off the bone and then I have a bag here next to here that I'm just going to discard the you know the skin and all but this is the easy way to separate your chicken yummy yum we got some delicious broth from it with the bone being in there that's why I really like working with um, chicken thighs and chicken thighs look at this the skin here see how it just comes right off just get rid of that I, I really love working with um, chicken thighs when I make my um, soup like chicken noodle soup or I make a, a Mexican dish that's called uh, chicken Aztec I use thighs because that is one flavorful piece of meat from the thigh and just take it right off of that and then all you have to do I didn't want to pick it up because it might still be a little hot but it's not too hot let's see there we go and then just take it and shred it see just shred your meat I like to get nice pieces of chicken in there. I don't want it to be shredded too thinly because I like to really taste my um, chicken. And I hope you can see that, you know, when I added that little lemon juice in there, that helped take away a lot of the, you know, the fat from the, from the, you know, from the chicken here this part here the skin it helps eliminate that chicken loves lemon guys lemon seasoning lemon pepper <laughs> it loves it oh that's some delicious broth there right there you can eat that just like that okay we're coming down to the finish line here and we're going to we separated all of our chicken okay and we're just gonna put this all back look at this beautiful shredded meat look at that that's from 12 um, chicken thighs 12 chicken thighs okay and all of it is going right back into the pot right back in the pot now the celery and the carrots and everything that's in there right now is really soft and it has all blended into like the broth um it's very soft so see how soft that is very soft now I'm going to add a few more pieces of the, because I'm going to cook this for an additional, um, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, not even, I'm not going to worry about it, but I'm going to put the rest of my onion in here because you know, I love onion. I'll drop a few more carrots in. Don't forget now I have my peas and carrots. Okay. I uh, have my peas and carrots that I'm going to drop in. Uh, I'm just going to drop that in there. Okay. And right about now, <clears throat> we're going to put in our cream of chicken soup. Okay. We're going to put our cream of chicken in here. And we're going to, this is going to help us formulate and get that beautiful, beautiful broth. Yes. Mmm, guys, oh, I wish you were here having dinner with me right now. This just makes me feel so happy inside to be able to make a meal like this. And knowing that, you know, I'm making a 
nice hearty meal for my family and it cost me less than $10. This, the chicken was $3.75. The cream of chicken soup each, I got them for 50 cents on sale at uh, Piggly Wiggly. They're on sale right today. I actually went out to get some other things and I saw these on sale, 50 cents a piece. So that's another dollar. So. What is that? Four seventy-five. That's five dollars, right? And then when you add in, I want to get all of this out <laughs> as much as I can, guys. You know, um, when you add in, well, you know, I got the um, I'm making the two ingredient biscuits. So I'm gonna say, you know, hey, I already got my whipping cream. You know, I keep that on hand for my biscuits. And I've got my flour. This meal is way under $10. And you'll be able to eat off of this for several days. Not, you know, just a quick bite, but several days. And look at all those pieces of chicken there. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm just going to let this simmer for about, uh, I said a total I'm going to do in like another 30 minutes. So I'm just going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes I just want to get my chicken broth my uh yeah the, uh, the chicken broth uh, all cooked in here and then I'm gonna drop in my uh, peas and my carrots they're frozen uh, you don't use canned peas in here because they'll just be too mushy I'm just going to drop those in at the last minute. So I think I will even add the rest of these little carrots here and a little bit of that celery there. And uh, whatever I have left over here, believe you me, I'll use it for a meal for breakfast. I don't want to put too much more celery. Uh, I'm not a great big fan of celery, but it, you know, it really enhances your food. But I can use those in something for breakfast and with some eggs or something but look at this broth guys when have you seen a more beautiful look at that broth and now all I got to do is at the very last minute I'm gonna drop in my peas and <clears throat> excuse me at the very last minute I'm gonna drop in my peas and carrots and I'm gonna drop in my um, my dumplings and you guys know how we make our dumplings two um, cups of self-rising flour, two cups of heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to make that and then these are going to be drop dumplings. We're just going to just break it off and drop them right in. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me in yet another recipe featuring two ingredients biscuit. We're going to make dumplings with it today. Guys, I want you guys to see how versatile this simple little recipe is that it can go as far as your imagination will take you. Today I'm going to uh, create some beautiful delicious dumplings only using my two ingredient biscuit recipe okay guys um we did recently an apple pie i think we're gonna do a lot of recipes a lot of meals using these two simple ingredients because who's got money to spend on this and that and the lard and the butter and the this and the that and the other i'm i've got a five dollars worth of chicken here um, a dollar worth of uh, chicken, um, uh, cream of mush, chicken soup, chicken cream of mush, whatever it is, <laughs> the chicken soup, uh, and um, this meal is well under ten dollars. And guys, I also want to thank all of the new subscribers. And do you guys realize 
that the two ingredient biscuit recipe that I shared with you guys from my grandmother and many other grandmothers, this recipe is not unique to me. This recipe has been used for many, many years with many, many families. And um, it was an honor for me to share that recipe with you guys. And do you know that it's nearly at 1 million views, guys? And I just want to show you that you can not only just do biscuits, you can do other things. So we do have our, our chicken cooking here. We're at the final stages of it now. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put up my biscuits. Soft rising flour and heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to put them into our um, our dumpling mix here, guys. And we're going to just enjoy this meal. So stick around and you'll see how I did the entire meal, okay? So now this is the final stages of the meal, guys. This is the final stages. I have a bag here of steamables, uh, peas, and carrots. That's it. I love peas and carrots. And um, I'm just going to dump one bag in there, okay? I already have carrots in here. I already have celery. I already have onion. Um, but I didn't have my peas in there, guys. When I tell you this meal is delicious, and I'm going to bring it down so that you can see it. But uh, I'm telling you, take my word for it. Look at all this chicken in here. So guys, now I'm going to show you, we're going to whip up our uh, dumplings really quickly from our two ingredient biscuits. So this is going to be called uh, two ingredient biscuit dumplings and chicken. <laughs> okay, so let's get to making our dumplings. Okay guys, so I have my self rising flour here, you know, you can mix as much as you like just keep in mind you know what you're working with the, the, the heavy whipping cream uh, use whatever type that you like uh, the great value works just as well I mix and match um, whatever I find at the store that's economical that's what I use so we're just going to go ahead and pour this in here and start making our dumpling. I'm going to put my lid back on here because I do want this to be cooking at a very nice little pace when I add in my dumpling. So let me get my lid back on guys. I'm telling you uh, for under under ten dollars and the meals that I make when I make these nice home you know Mississippi down home meals these meals are usually uh, more than uh, one meal, you know. These meals are usually two meals and even can stretch them into uh, three meals. I mean, um, the dumplings, chicken and dumplings, you can stretch it as far as you can add water in it. <laughs> That's the way I figure it. As long as you can add some water in there, you know, you can just stretch it and stretch it. And that's why I always say, you know, anybody that wants to come and have a meal with me, there's always room at my table. Always room, guys. Because all I have to do is add a little more water to whatever it is that I'm making. Let me get a little more flour that I'm going to be working with here. And uh, I'm using the same self-rising flour. I just want to be able to uh, get my hands on it really good, guys. Okay, I'm going to, I hope you can see this. But there we go. Start mixing it together. Just start mixing it and mixing it. I have gloves on today, guys. But some days I have gloves on and some days I don't. <laughs> it just depends. I got enough of a mess going on around here today and I didn't want to add any more to my uh, 
that I didn't have to add to it. So, so you just keep, you know, mixing it. And here you can add some salt in it if you want. I know a lot of people are saying, well, that the Sun Rising Flower has salt in it already. Yes, it does, but it's really not a lot of salt, you know. So, um, I don't know. To me, it's not a lot of salt. But to other people, you know, if you're not used to or you don't like a lot of seasoning, it may be a lot of salt to you. Okay, so now we have our base here, guys. We just have our base. I turned it up a little bit. Let me turn it up a little bit more because I want this to be going real good when I add my dumplings in. And you know what I do, guys. We just knead it a few times. Just a few times. You don't have to. If you want to knead it, you knead it. If you don't, you don't have to. Because I'm telling you, this recipe is a very good, forgiving recipe. And um, it just works. It works. Two ingredients. Now, you can go to the store and buy dumplings, but I guarantee you, look at this. These are. This is ready. Ready, ready to go into the oven and make some delicious biscuits. Look at that. And so you know it is ready to go and make some great, great dumplings. Okay, so um, these are going to be just drop dumplings. And by that, I'm just going to take them off and drop them in there. Okay, and one thing I want to caution you against when you're making your dumplings, you're going to be, um, you're going to want to, um, Stir the pot. Don't stir it when you first put it in, because if you do, the it's just going to melt away into in, into your gravy. So you want to give it a chance to start cooking uh, before you start, you know, stirring and all of that. Okay. So let me take a look and see what we got. I turned my pot up a little bit, and I think it's cooking good enough. Look at that chicken. Look at this. Man, this is going to be a delicious meal. So we're going to start dropping our... Uh, I just wanted to go a little bit hotter. So let's leave it a couple of more minutes. In the meantime, I'll just be making my, you know... And all I'm doing is just peeling it off of here, guys. These are... I'm not making any fashionable... This is no runway... No, no runway dumplings. <laughs> These are not runway dumplings. These are just dumplings, you know. And just pull it off of here. And depending on how fast, now you know it's going to expand. So, you know, depending on how big you want them. Even if they come out too big when you make them, you can always just take your spoon and cut it down, guys. You know, we don't have to stress over making our food. We're going to make other meals with using these two ingredients because, you know, I just think that that's a, way, a, a really good way to go. Um, I used, I did make for you guys a two ingredient bread and I'm telling you, it was some good bread. Good bread. Uh, please check that recipe out. I have it on here. Guys, this is going to be so good. I love dumplings. I just wish I can get, a, I had a pot five times the size so I could just make a ton of them. <laughs> so we're going to, um, I put the peas and carrots in there um, and they were frozen. You know, they're, they're just frozen. But I also did have fresh carrots and fresh onion and fresh celery in there. You know, so okay, so now it's it's got a nice little boil to it. So yeah, it's got a nice little boil. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start dropping my dumplings in. I'm gonna just start dropping my dumplings in and then yeah, I got it up at a nice temperature, so we're just gonna see it's just a regular size, okay? Now We'll see how much they expand, but we're just going to drop them in. Just drop it. Drop it. 
okay? Oh, these are going to be some beautiful dumplings, okay? And you, like I said, you don't want to stir them um, when you first put them in because you will break the integrity of them. And oh my goodness, guys, let me bring you closer so you can see these dumplings, how they're developing. Just come a little closer. Can you see in there how beautiful they're looking? I know you can see that. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to drop them in there. Okay. Just drop them in. I love nice, beautiful, fluffy dumplings. And what, what an easier way to make a dumpling than this. Okay. I mean, come on now. We're just going to drop it in. I am so tempted to stir it right now. But I know from experience that I am not going to stir it. Let's just keep dropping them. And then I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes. And then I will come back once I feel that I can add some more to them. And we'll just continue. Guys, look at that pot. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I can hear the trumpets. <laughs> you might not be able to hear it, but I can hear them, okay? There, this is just beautiful. I'm going to put a few more in there. And then, there we go. So just drop it. Just drop dumplings, okay? And, hey, we're going to just eat it up so they don't have to be gorgeous or all sectioned off into certain sizes yes like I said don't stir it but I think I can move it a little bit to see what I got going on down there I want to add more I love lots of dumplings guys okay so I'm gonna put the lid on this for now oh yes how beautiful is that guys and we're gonna let that cook down a little bit I said, don't stir it, but we want to be able to see what we got going on. Oh, they're just beautiful. All right, guys, I hope you do this recipe. You know, the recipes that I share with you guys are ones that I make at home and that I'm comfortable because this is my taste bud but you know your taste bud might be a little bit different right but these are what I like okay look how beautiful that is okay now oh look at that dumpling is that a dumpling or is that a dumpling okay so that looks good enough for me to put a little more parsley on it to make it look real pretty we're just going to sprinkle a little more parsley on that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to cover it. And uh, I'm going to try to use all of this, you know. But I just want this to cook a little bit. Oh my. We're going to let that cook a little bit. And then we'll come back and see if we can add a few more dumplings in here, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Look at those dumplings. Gorgeous. Okay, let's put the lid on. And we're going to just let that cook. Okay? Let that cook. And we will come back in just a few minutes. Take your dough. Just drop little pieces in there. Drop some little pieces in. I like lots of dumplings, guys. Just drop it in. And let it cook. And make some space. Look how beautiful. 
Beautiful. I think I got enough dumplings in here, guys. <laughs> I think I got enough dumplings, okay? I love dumplings, so. But I think I have enough. Maybe a couple more, okay? I love it to be covered like a dumpling pie, okay? <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Cover it and let it simmer on in. Okay guys, so you know what time it is. It is time for a delicious bowl of chicken and dumplings. Look at this. Look at those beautiful, beautiful dumplings, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Woo. Building on the top, guys. They are gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Burning myself, guys, of course. I wish you could see it better. I'm going to put my plate down so that you can see it and I'll just bring it closer for you guys. Look at that delicious plate. I'm going to bring it down so that you can see it. Okay guys, can you see those delicious chicken and dumplings? Look at those beautiful dumplings in there and your celery, your chicken. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's really hot right now. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. And then we are going to have a delicious bite, but isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at those dumplings. Look at those dumplings. Just two ingredients, guys. That's all you need. You don't have to pay for packaging and spend a lot of money. You have it right in your kitchen. Beautiful. Look at those dumplings. And you can add more to them if you like. Or Look at that. Gorgeous, huh? Oh, my goodness. I'm waiting for it to cool down. So I can take a nice bite for you. <laughs> I can take a beauty bite for you. Okay guys, so we will absolutely have to take a taste test of this, right? Oh, yeah, let's get a nice bite of a dumpling out of here. Let's get a nice piece of cheese, uh, chicken. Look at the chicken there, shredded. And let's get a nice piece of carrot, okay? Why not? Look at that. How's oh, this, guys? It's Listen, <laughs> this is mouth-watering yummy. I promise you, it is delicious, guys. Thank you for watching. 
Thank you guys for all watching the two ingredient biscuit recipes. I really appreciate it. A million people have watched it. <laughs> and everybody loves the recipe. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that you guys do. I'm so happy that you'll have a recipe of biscuits to pass along to your family, to your generation. Make them your own. I'm so happy, guys. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. And remember, how others treat you is their karma. But how you respond, my baby, how you respond is your karma. Guys, I love you so very, very much. And I'll see you in the next recipe. Listen, <laughs> I will see you in the next recipe. Send me some recipes, guys. That's what I wanted to tell you. Send me some recipes um, that you would like me to try. Uh, send me some quick recipes. Send me some more two ingredient recipes. Let's get this thing going. Come on. <laughs> send me recipes. I'm open and ready to make them. And I love cooking for you guys. And I love enjoying every single meal with you guys. Bye bye now. And I love you. I'm waiting on those recipes. Send them to me, okay? Bye bye now.